Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, here we are with Microsoft Flight Simulator and let's make sure we are in the best settings possible. 4K, all ultra, everything maxed out. And no point of uh, trying to enable the slice since it's not making any difference, so there you go. The graphics are absolutely amazing. The level of details is uh, stunning as well. and. Basically everything, uh, everything that surrounds you is shining. Of course, if you have the, the hardware power to push uh, this game to this point. But it's not everything milk and honey. And let me tell you, if you're trying to control this plane with your keyboard, that is going to be a nightmare. Uh, at least for me it was, and it still is. And I'm not planning to buy a controller especially for this game. So, yeah, that's a joy kill, uh, to say the least. And if you have the patience to, you know, to go all of to all of the length of this video, um, you'll realize probably there's no worse kind of pilot than me. Basically, I can't do more than uh, take off do a little bit of uh, you know look around and as soon as I try to uh, steer the plane to left or right I lose the control of it that's the joy that uh, the keyboard gives you um, it's very difficult this is um, this is the point where I think uh, they went uh, way too far with the details like how realistic this game is y you really need to know what to press what is doing this what is doing that and so on and to be honest i don't have the the patience for that uh, i've tried to to change the planes uh boeing 747 is extremely difficult to to control but i've tried it anyway and uh, quickly i realized uh, that uh, is not the plane is the pilot definitely um yeah what can i say more graphics amazing performance it kind of sucks uh, you know only 30 something frames per second with uh, this kind of hardware it is uh, like a punch in uh, in your guts but uh, it is what it is who knows maybe with the next generation of graphic cards if RTX 3080 or 3090 Ti won't be able to squeeze 60 frames a second out of this one then I don't know what to say should we buy it or no it's it's a big question mark because this is the kind of um, realistic graphics that we should expect in the future and I would love to see a graphic card that is capable of rendering this kind of graphics uh, at 60 frames per second that would be something um, RTX 2080 Ti is still making a great job but it has uh, it has its limits at least if uh, if the slide was working we would have had a, we would have had a fighting chance but there you go this uh, this is the Boeing and I was not able to do much uh, with this one either as I was saying it's not the plane, it's the pilot, man. So, yeah. After a few flip flip-flops, uh, I've just uh, quit. Uh, quit trying. You really need a proper controller for this one, because the... Um, it's way too realistic for the keyboard. You can't fly a plane. And... So, this being said, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.